Today on A Magical History, we're going to take a look at Five Alive by Paul Burdick and illustrated by Catherine Hawks. Stay tuned, it's kind of an interesting trick. Magicians strive most of their careers to be able to manipulate a pack of cards. The ability to move one card from any location in the pack to another location is what makes card magic possible. But eventually you get so good at doing it that you no longer have to move the cards themselves, you just have to move the ink. In this case, I'm going to show you that with just a few cards. You'll notice that there's no ink on the blank card and that the other cards are five of spades. It's very simple. You see, if I take the five of spades and I place them onto the table like this, I can take the cards, rub them face to face, and cause the ink to vanish. Let me show you that again. If I just rub them like this, again, the face vanishes. That leaves me with three blank cards where there used to be five of spades. The fourth is where they all gather. You see now I have a fifteen of spades. Let's just talk for a moment about the trick itself. Now remember, on a magical history we're not going to be revealing secrets but I am going to give you details so that you know how these were packaged and how they were made, what they were made from, um, so that when you find a set you know whether they're genuine or not. In this case, um, this one was made with Fox Lake playing cards and it came with simple instructions but more than adequate to learn the effect. Um, hand drawn basically by um, Catherine Hawks and here you'll see Paul Burdick's signature in the corner. Um, the envelope nicely printed and is really how most effects of this time actually were made. Um, they would take regular envelopes and they would print the name and what they were and who they were from and they would sell them in magic shops all over the country. Uh, very simple but a great effect and really worth thinking about adding because laymen love magical effects where cards change from printed to blank and then reappear added together somewhere else. This formula was used by a lot of different people and you can find it in other places and in, in the form of coin assemblies where coins are printed on cards or um, again this is the same kind of thing where other cards an ace assembly where the four aces appear on the blank card and they're tied in with a matrix matrix effect but this is one of the older variations of this and it's definitely a neat packet trick